Outside of China, Japan has the second highest number of cases of coronavirus. The CDC has issued an alert level two travel advisory for Japan. In Italy, the outbreak has canceled the Carnival celebration in Venice and postponed the filming of Mission Impossible 7. Who knew? And the Tokyo Olympics, well, they're scheduled to start July 24th, only five months away. There is speculation that the Olympics may get canceled. So here to talk about the Olympics and if the, this during this outbreak from a medical perspective, nine health ex expert Dr. Pyle Coley, have the Olympics been canceled like under these circumstances? So, so the only time the Olympics have been canceled in the history of the United States has been during wartime, World War One and World War II. Yeah. And in 2016, if you recall, we had the Zika outbreak and the Olympics were in Brazil. They talked about canceling, but they decided not to. Yeah. But the, the magnitude of the Zika outbreak was much different than what we're facing now with the coronavirus. So I think we're, we're really at a decision point here about a very important event, and it would change history if we did decide to cancel them. So what would it take? What, what do you think the medical experts and everybody would have to see happen in the next couple of months in order to let the games go on? Yeah, so as you know, the coronavirus situation is rapidly evolving. It's changing pretty much every day. So it's very hard to know exactly what's going to happen in the next few months. Um, but it really will depend on what the virus ends up doing. So I see three possible scenarios. The first scenario, if the virus continues the way that it's doing right now with the activity the way that it is right now, I think the Olympics most likely will get canceled. Oh my goodness. And the reason is because imagine bringing all these people from all mm -hmm. over the world to a small space where they interact with each other in close quarters and then oh, they yeah. take the virus back home to their country. That would really, really propagate the epidemic even more. Yeah. So, so hopefully that's a scenario that doesn't happen, but if it continues along the trajectory, then it might. The second scenario is really if the summer months come and the virus ends up changing its behavior. So just oh. like the flu virus, a lot of viruses can have seasonal patterns where they have high activity in the winter and then less so in the summer. And if you think about the SARS virus, which is very similar to the coronavirus, that started in November of 2002 peaked in March of 2003, and by July of 2003 was fully contained. Now, obviously this is more numbers, but what I'm hoping is that as the weather warms up, and it's gonna be hard, hard to predict whether or not the coronavirus will do the same thing, but if the activity starts to go down, it's a possibility we could contain it and the Olympics could proceed. That's so much to think and makes so much sense. Thank yeah. you so much. We're waiting to hear from the president, but thank you, Dr. Coley. Thank you so Important much, voice. Kim. All right, Tom and Alex.